Hi guys, and welcome to this episode of Let's Roleplay Skyrim. I think it's episode 6 now. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different than the usual ones, since we're not actually going to play the game. I want to take this time to explain to you the background story of our character, Aridin, and pretty much why he came to Skyrim. Now, if you watched the first episode, you actually know that he got a letter from Rayloff from Riverwood telling him that his brother's dead and that is pretty much the reason why he actually came to Skyrim to find out who did it to and to pretty much avenge him so that's a simple start to this but I thought that you might want to know something more about him now he's pretty much been a sellsword for his for the last 20 years of his life he's about 35 now and he's not a bad sellsword He's pretty much a small time hero who people pay to come and take care of beasts that ravage the countryside and so on. And that's pretty much why he's got this really kick ass bow from the beginning that's called the Twister and this really kick ass sword that is called the Loner's Sword. He got both of these as rewards for doing different tasks for villagers and so on. So he's all always been this kind of a good guy small time hero helping people in need so I really enjoy this guy because he's a good guy okay and Adamar his brother who was murdered he wasn't a good guy this guy was a real brutal savage pretty much he was pillaging and killing for a couple of years before coming to Skyrim his home and yeah he's pretty much he, his brother pretty much came there and got murdered that's how easy it is and Ar Aridin himself, he hasn't really been to Skyrim much before since his childhood. So he's, he hasn't really been there for a very long time because he just left right away. He was not really liking it there because Adamor, his bigger brother, was pushing him around and so on. So he left at about 15 years old. He went out into the world and pretty much became a small time hero, as I said many times. But since he got this letter that his brother had been murdered, that's just a little bit too much to just sweep under the rug, so to say. So he's ventured back to Skyrim and is gonna find out what actually happened. Now, that's pretty much his story for now. And I also said that he killed Grelod the Kind, I think it was in the last episode, and he did that because he was he himself was from an orphanage to begin with and he's got some bad experience from that so that wasn't really a question to him he was just gonna do it straight off because he knows how horrible it could be and yeah he was an orphanage to begin with he was actually adopted by Adamar's uh, parents and that didn't really sit well with the bigger brother he always harassed Aridin and this really made him tough actually this was actually good for him but of course he didn't like it but in the long run it actually hardened him and make, made him a better person in many ways so he's always like the defender of the weaker because he knows how that is because he's been there himself so in that way it actually helped him to become a better person and he doesn't want to admit this but he actually knows this and yeah, that's pretty much the story of Ad Aridin. He's a really good guy, and even though he despised his brother and they hadn't really talked for a couple of years, you just don't kill his brother because <laughs> that's not acceptable. And also, by infiltrating the Dark Brotherhood, he actually rids all of Skyrim of great evil. So that's his reasons why he's doing this. And yeah, I really thought you should know that because I wasn't really clear with what kind of character this was. But now you know, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next Let's Play video. Goodbye.